one and two for Chris. It's a matter of doing what he's doing now, which is running the offense, getting guys set. When you have a shot, you take it. But you... Well, it is by two. 11 nothing run for Georgetown. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, that good spin move of his. Right past DeMarco Pickett. Got in the mental aspects of them dealing with Pope. Okay. Robinson Earl a put back. But notice one thing about what we've seen in the last three or four possessions by him able to square up and knock it in. If George Ham is going to win this game, he has to be an integral part offensively. Slinger got it to Robinson Earl. That was a good dish by Slater. Malay when he got to Georgetown. Sounds good with Judy as your first but, but you know what? That's what happened. Now you go to Georgetown. Fresh start. No, but great move that time by Robinson Earl. Absolutely. Uh, both Tati, Blair, and Harris. Harris was the star of the second half last night. Robinson Earl trying to carry his team right now. But the last year, right? You had a young infant to get back That's to. That's right. But we are officially on course to finish this baby. And well, there's Robinson Earl finishing it, baby. Well, kind of backwards. I believe he said get back. He did. Am I correct? No. Oh, you heard it loud and clear. Robinson Earl going reversal. And the Wildcats extend their lead to six next week and the potential of the NCAA tournament. But let me just say this. The selection committee will be under the gun in a lot of respects if, in fact, Duke can play yourself into a bid and to March Madness, then I don't know what to tell you. Robinson Earl, his patented reversal. I know what I can tell you. That young man... Pickett is a mismatch. Robinson Earl knows it. He is absolute when they make them more easily than they did early on. Robinson Earl from Samuels. Wahab affected that shot. Robinson Earl. Over 20 years, St. John's. Villanova, number 335 in tempo. They are a great half court team. St. John's a great transition team. Red Storm averaged 74 attempt tonight. Robinson Earl, straightaway three. Yes. They drive and follow. Robinson Earl defended by Champagny. Great matchup there. Robinson Earl around Champagny. They foot fake, shot fake more than any team in a middle bit, but still up by 13. Robinson Earl for three. Alexander able to save it and bring it up the floor. Slater to Robinson Earl. Two. They have such great patience when they catch the ball in the lane. No rough. Robinson Earl. Oh, working right around Isaiah Moore for two. The footwork. Catch, face. Robinson Earl. Not this time. And the rebound grab by Champagny. They were fortunate at that time because... Robinson Earl off the inbound, and Moore goes up and is fouled, grabbing the rebound. Robinson Earl. Samuel so active tonight, he's not able to... Shot fake, Gillespie out to Antoine, he passes on the three, and Robinson Earl will take it. Swatters had trouble getting it in bounds tonight. Was barely able to do that one and it's poked away. Good defense by Vince Cole. Robinson Earl. And here comes Dunn the other way. You know, we are. Oh, 
Oh, what a move by Robinson Earl. He's got a dozen. I think Moore with a quick outlet to Samuels. Robinson Earl. You know, there are times when they'll move him to the point, and they did. A recycle coming. Robinson Earl again. Nice job by Duke. High pointing that rebound. A couple of high pick and rolls at the top, but that's just a lazy pass. Yeah, you can't do that against this team. Oh, and he missed the jam. A rare miss of an open jam. Nova. You know, you got to wear him down towards the end of the game. You may feel that a little more. Great look off the dribble penetration. Robinson Earl can't connect. You run back to yours, but one on one with a point guard, just, you, you're going to get killed all game long. Robinson Earl trying to tap it out and does to Samuels. Swider. There's Jeremiah picking up some loose change inside. And he just. Robinson Earl, a little wraparound move, going to the offhand, can't get it to go. He hits the deck. G.B. Yacono gives it up to Robinson Earl. Swider, and he put a little pick and pop action. Gets it to go. If you're Nova, don't forget who you are. You're, you're this tournament. Well, I, I know you're an original, and I know you have a lot of original sayings, but I'm going to give you one you can use. It, it, and it, it reminds me of what Villanova was in the first half. Cattywampus. <laughs> in the minutes, Jay Wright can trust that he's going to go in there and run, run their stuff. Sort of gets the culture going again, right? Have to imagine their own point of Ed Cooley's practices this week in preparation for the game. Robinson Earl goes for the offhand and gets it done. For Providence, the focus has to be what they do well. Stay, stay, stay. has the length. You know, he may not have that strength, but he has the look. Tap that out. To someone wearing your same uniform, it's just as good as, as grabbing that ball and going. Well, that's a beautiful entry pass. Now Robinson Earl has to save it for the guy that's sending to it. That was Samuel. Slater working on Horkler. Robinson Earl. Bodies up. Can't get it to go. Watson an outstanding job defensively holding his ground. Oh. And run the baseline. Length of the floor. Robinson Earl for the win. I'm not sure if that ball off the feet. Stat you need to know in that game is two for 27. That's what Nova wants from beyond the arc. Robinson Earl. Loose ball. Daniels with the rebound. New shot clock. The two-lane trip for those comments. Yeah, yeah, I guess he was heart sick and disappointed himself for the pain he may have caused. You know, he feels for his players and broke down the trust he felt that ever since they... Samuels facing on senior night. Robinson Earl. Once again, everybody back. Shoot. Justin Moore. Good passing, good passing team right to the pocket. Ballock with the board. This year, but here for senior night. It's also being celebrated. Inside, nice slip. Robinson Earl. 29-15. And I guess both these teams, the individual skills, how they improved over the course of the year. Villanova is Jeremiah. Robinson Earl. Sharif Mitchell flying the other way. Family in his shoes. <laughs> like Shaq, coach. <laughs> Inside, nice move. Robinson Earl is the around the world big, and he goes up and in. I love this kid. Defense. Rallying into the ball, deflections. Robinson Earl squares, air ball. No 
energy from Creighton tonight. Yeah, not at all. And Villanova doing a great job inside like this. That's their 28th point. And really not with post up. Or as my mother would, back to, or as my mother would say, Coach Raftery, I'm going to punish you for what I know you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to get back to work. Robinson Earl, four to shoot. Again, into Steph Hurley, not a lot of hey, Creighton. They got a mismatch if they want inside. Robinson Earl. Back. Consistent bases, Bolden and Harris, but they need Inzi to score in the paint just like that. Robinson Earl for a three. And the rebound is grabbed. Over 300. Very slow playing teams for the most part. Robinson Earl, a size advantage over Bolden, and he lays it in. Scored on the shot. And here comes Gillespie the other way for Villanova. Villanova's half-court defense much better at keeping people in front late. That was a really good pass. And Robinson Earl with another bucket. Steve, how much, especially on the defensive end, is Butler missing Aaron Thompson today? Well, they miss him. They miss him on both ends. He's one of the leading assist guys in the league, too, but he is a solid defender. And when you play against the perimeter... Minutes as we tick inside, seven to play in the first. And that's why they have struggled at Butler in the last four years. That's a good move. You know, you got to make a decision, though. If you're going to let him back you down, more aggressive on him right now because he's on fire. 13 points for Chuck Harris. His career high is 22. Robinson Earl can't get that one to drop. This packed in defense definitely make him take... That's a contested jump shot. That's the kind of shot. And Steve Butler is killing Villanova on the glass. Plus 10 early on for the Bulldogs. When you play this kind of defense, you're in great position to defensive rebound. Villanova. Robinson Earl trying to get position. Draws the double team out to a wide open Samuels. And he doesn't get the bounce, but the tip is there for Robinson Earl. Well, often we're in a break zone, and maybe that's why Jay Wright is holding off on calling a timeout. I think he needs it personally. It's a personal 6-0 run for Golden. Robinson Earl can't convert. And all the momentum that's passing, their block percentage is one of the lowest in the last 20 years. They get no rim protection. So right now, Butler having their way in the paint. Now, they needed that offensive rebound. Free throw shooting. Hodges, four in a row. Robinson Earl beats him down the floor. Robinson Earl off the glass and the lead back down to eight. Robinson Earl trying to answer. And he does not get the bounce tip to Harris. Hey, what are you going to say to the kid? Unbelievable. Daniels three ball. Robinson Earl offensive rebound. Put back no tip. Yes, it was very hot. <laughs> Final 25 seconds. Gillespie. Daniels to put back. No, the tip is not there either. All the way out. Slider. Gives Marquette the lead. We'll see how many threes, as we know, Villanova relies so much on. Uh, Mid-range goes here for Robinson. That certain teams and conferences have played. Uh, a lot to think about. A nice pass right off the inbound. Jeremiah Robinson Earl hanging out underneath the cylinder. Go. He's been around GI Bill guy for decades. Robinson Earl's getting a lot of touches early in this game, and they've all been productive. Three for that skill set. They called a long two. Left foot was on the line. There's Gillespie from the elbow. Comes up short. How about the follow for Robinson Earl? Uh, right time, right place. I think capitalize off the Golden Eagles miscues. But the savvy from both Gillespie and Samuels, leaving Robinson Earl a wide open look from three. They're here to begin the half. 
Gillespie slips these underneath, and then a nice bounce pass from Samuels to Robinson Earl. It'll stay with Villanova. To All those Wildcats, they jump stop. They've mastered their footwork in terms of getting feet organized and gathering the balance. There's another example of Pirouette. Varishnikov spin move by Robinson Earl. A career high with 20 on the night. Let's see if the Wildcats have a response here. Robinson Earl, yes. Well, that's it on cue. Robinson Earl splashes one in. Again, no one in the lane, so Justin Moore just takes it in and rifles one back. Oh. Robinson Earl, again, invert your thinking. Very Seemingly forever, Villanova's had great guards, right? Ryan Archidiacono, Josh Hart. Robinson Earl can't miss. He is just feeling it, budding superstar. Rebound pulled down here by Slater. Brian Antoine out of the game for the first time this year. We're in one in white. His first minutes of the... Swider getting a start here tonight. Backing down, he's only got three to shoot. And Robinson Earl rims it out. Slider and matchup at each other in a big way over the last several years. Games are always competitive. Generally come right down to the wire. And it will be interesting. The guys in the studio talking about, you know, talk. And he missed seven games early on. Nothing there defensively. Good drive to the basket. Jeremiah Robinson Earl can do so many things. Guys don't look like any layoff has really affected them so far. Little give and go. Second guy through also. Robinson Earl. Uh, Seton Hall defense stepping up and really getting in the jerseys of the Wildcats. And that leaves that open. And that's the patience at the half court. Jay Wright rides his team. Missed some time over the course of his career, though, due to injury. Robinson Earl catch and shoot. Everything but the basket. Lead all scores. And the Pirates by two. And Villanova's hot shooting hand has cooled send off to the wrong guy. There's a post up, and Robinson Earl can't get the soft touch. Knocked out of bounds by Samuel. It goes back the other way. And Daniels just all over the floor right now. Trying to come up with the loose ball. Third time to the charm. And Obiaka was standing. Long ones in the first half, if you're just joining us. Neither was as long as that attempt. No, that was a three, three feet longer. Good block out. Simple, but... Fundamentally sound. Oh, yeah. Neither team is led by more than five in this one. There's that mismatch again. And this time it worked. They got it inside. But Robinson Earl couldn't hit it. Three for a left. Notice the shot clock. It's down to ten now. Not in a hurry. Very patient. And Swider, a big offensive rebound for the Wildcats. Oh, freshman of the year. In the Big East. Baseline J. That one off the heel. 29 point effort on Wednesday against Great. Robinson Earl facing mid range jump shot. Off the back rim. Loose ball and the rebound. Goes this game and against this Wildcat team from the field. Robinson Earl. Good look. Neither team shooting it well to start. Robin four minutes against Great No Wednesday. 20 to 11. Baseline. And finally, one goes down for the Wildcats. Robinson. Colin Gillespie able to inside out crossover, use his size to finish up over the top. Robinson Earl no good. And the rebound to Bree. Look at all the things he's doing, and he's fouled. Samuel grinding his way down the lane. No. Gets his own rebound. Robinson Earl. Reed with the board. Man, great size. Gillespie. Robinson Earl facing. That's his spot. Yep. And it's hard play. That time he knew that Nate Watson was going to give him a little rhythm. Able to step up and knock in a jump shot. 
Duke with 10. Long rebound on the miss. And it goes to Providence defensively. Down low. Robinson Earl, easy one from Jamo. Here's a pick and roll. Robinson Earl popping out. 15 footer. Got it. Of course. No one. GQ. And it's so methodical. You know, Coach Cooley talked about that and how you defend this right there. I mean, a simple offensive rebound, another possession. I started all four games this year for St. Joe. I started all four games this year for St. Joe's. Here's Gillespie, half of that inside-outside combination with Robinson Earl who misfires. Samuels taps it back out to Robinson Earl. Set that mid-court screen again. Here's Gillespie trying to turn the corner outside. Robinson Earl, a good look. And it's 10 to 3. That's vintage Nova. He is not afraid to go inside and mix it up on the boards. Robinson Earl back in the game along the baseline. Nice rebound in traffic by four point lead in the basketball. Daniels down low. Robinson Earl is blocked nice. by Fox. Holding his ground. What a recovery. It was a great seal by Robinson. Tough defense by Bishop against Swider with the shot clock down to four. Robinson Earl's got to create back to the basket, knocked away by Funk. Swider catch and shoot. Yeah, Swider made the decision he was going to shoot that one before the catch. That's letting it come to you. And Robinson Earl wide open there. Daly trying to chase down the rebound, but he stepped. It was a quick start in this game for Villanova. They jumped out to a 14 to 5 lead. There's Robinson Earl getting free inside. But probably the first. Yeah, he's a downhill runner. Samuels to Robinson Earl along the baseline. Billy Lang. Teammates. St. Joseph's offensively very aggressive to begin the second half. Nice slip pass to Robinson Earl from Gillespie. Uh, Billy Lang wants a timeout because he is livid. They by the Hawks. There's Samuels cross court. Robinson Earl. Will pop from 12 feet away. He just has so many dimensions. It's important that gets them back within shouting distance and has this defensive intensity going at the other end. Here's Robinson Earl popping out from the elbow. He's got it all working tonight. He's got it. St. Joe's looking to snap a couple of streaks. They're looking for their first win of the season. Granted, this is only their fourth game as Robinson Earl continues his fantastic night. He's got 21 points. Yeah, I'll tell you that. The schedule hasn't been easy. They hardly had the opportunity to see what this team can do. This game number four. Daniels just, uh, excuse me, Robinson Earl misfires. We'll think they start off. As if any about slipping out of conference play in the middle of well, the I, conference schedule. I, I always feel like it's it's great to play a local rivalry game as you're getting ready to battle conference. To tap them out like that. Early substitution for Jay Wright as Cole Swider has checked in for Caleb Daniels. Robinson Earl with the putback. But, you know, Villanova is really hard to trap because they have such good spacing and they all, as I said, can handle and shoot the ball. So it's hard to get them in position. Roy Williams, Mark, uh, not Roy Williams, he lost last year. Mark Few, Sean Miller, and Tom Izzo. It's pretty Robinson, good company. Yeah, not bad. Robinson Earl from the outside. And then Robinson Earl going the post so much their guards, but they don't turn it over in there. If they don't have something, they kick it out. Shot clock at three, Robinson Earl, no, the putback by Samuels won't go, and then we get a foul on... Robinson Earl for three. That was a pretty good defensive possession. Good defense by Champagny, back out to Daniels, uh, his three won't go, rebound Robinson Earl, right back up, and that won't go as well, out of bounds to St. John's and a timeout. Robinson Earl already has six offensive rebounds tonight. But his jumper is off the mark. For Villanova, they can hold for the final shot. 
they should be holding this out. Instead, Robinson Earl puts up another shot that and was misses. Not, that was not a good, a Jay is not happy with that shot. They're getting close to a lot of steals now, St. John's also. Robinson Earl blocked by Champagny. Three on one for St. John's. Alexander great, great. to Shams was to play this game at their pace. They've done that tonight. This is the way St. John's wants to play as Robinson Earl lays it in. And even that, Villanova scored there, but they scored quickly. They didn't. Let's see where Villanova turns. Robinson Earl swatted away by Adaiwusu. Three on two for St. John's. Adaiwusu over to Alexander. Nine and a half to go. More. Oh, great play with Robinson Earl. That was Posh Alexander. Should have been in there helping on that. Comes here. Robinson Earl, open look. Gets it back. That's his seventh offensive rebound. A new. Robinson Earl will take that and make it. A dozen for Robinson. Where have you been? Graduate transfer who came in and was good early on in practice, like you mentioned, then hurt his foot early yep. on and just hadn't quite been right. Robinson Earl can't hit it. Long rebound to Gillespie. Less than 10 on the shot clock. Catch and shoot. Justin Moore. Robinson oh, Earl with a rebound and then. I believe a goaltend is called. So first point. Uh, Spike it, right? <laughs> yeah. Clean look for Robinson Earl. Still trying to find his range today. Wahab there for the board. Not more, and they're not making kind of those mental mistakes that they were making in the past. Justin Moore controls for Villanova. Goes outside Robinson Earl, who can't hit the three. I mean, it really is amazing what Georgetown is. Robinson Earl picks and pops. A rough start to this game for Villanova's leading scorer. He's these teams particularly deep and some foul trouble brewing for Georgetown. They've already got Wahab with two. That was Belay's third. Mm -hmm. Robinson Earl point blank, not this time. And Robinson Earl just can't get, get the ball to first in the Big East. Looking for their eighth consecutive Big East title. Beautiful ball movement. Tees up Robinson Earl for the slam. In the zone defense that time. I think it was a 2 1. Rebound Justin Moore. Back the other way comes Villanova. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. One for six in the first half, but you know that's not going to last. It's one of the best. You're not going to see a team like that unless you play against someone like that, maybe in the tournament. So maybe it's a. Uh something you prep for in the future because teams will want to get the ball and to kind of come together and this year is disjointed as it's been for everybody not the easiest year to be a very new group robinson earl just doesn't have it in terms of the jump shot today robinson earl drains the baseline jumper there we go and i like the confidence that he didn't hesitate on that dribble outside samuels Robinson Earl puts it in the deck against Pickett and stuffs it home. But Wahab, where were you going? Wahab chose high pick from Robinson Earl and a little pick and pop. Had it. And I would say early in the season, think about it, huh? he is more comfortable, I think, with coaching against the team like Villanova. Then others, as you see the putback by Robinson Earl, he loves it. He knows that the images and impressions are Villanova's better. You know, I love watching Robinson Earl play. He just lets the game come to him. Like that. Just so, like that. Yes. Talk about Colin Gillespie is make him play defense. You know, try to wear him down a little bit. Challenge him. Maybe pick up a foul or two. This time, Robinson Earl can't connect. Samuel 19 to 10, Villanova by nine. Almost to the halfway mark here in the first. Robinson Earl can't get that one to go. Mamu Kalashvili with the rebound. Gillespie. Really challenging. Oh, what a move! Count it! And a foul. That is worthy. First, Tim Brando, Donnie Marshall on Fox. 
Happy to have you with us today. Robinson Earl. What a shot on that one a little bit. I think he expected contact. You know, to, to Jay's credit, we broached that subject with him yesterday. As you see, Robinson Earl put it in, and he was, as usual, diplomatic about it. He said, I think what... <laughs> Robinson Earl. Again, no one there. Late to recover and not a hand up. But he was remarkable in that in that game. A game that Seton Hall really appeared to have some control of on the road. And their ball is taken away, and here comes Molson the other way. Hale raises the rim. And a quick shot, really. Gillespie. Wide open, Robinson Earl. They just lost him. So important to communicate and talk and end. Gillespie. They're milking clock as best they can. And he'll launch from deep. Count it. No problem. I didn't get rusty. I didn't. And Creighton's on defense. Every Villanova player will post up. Moore just did that. Robinson Earl, no help coming for Bishop. He got a hand on it. Shot clock at one. And a late pump goes crying off the front rim. But Samuels cleans the rebound. And Robinson Earl takes advantage of the second chance opportunity. Well, that's what's really just been killing. Seven offensive rebounds now for Villanova. Six. Thank you. Robinson Earl. Look at that. Slater again. A third trip. Robinson Earl working on Paul Brennan. Do you think he loves to use his quickness here? Pretty good defense by the young big fella. Defend the rim and can throw into the post with it. Robinson Earl. Another offensive rebound. Robinson in high school. Of course, Kobe did not play at the collegiate level. Robinson Earl, an air ball this time. Speared out of the air by Jeff. Nice look. Gillespie with the feed and Robinson Earl with a point. What a future he has. As does this young man, Justin Moore. Robinson Earl for three. Three for one here for the Blue Jays. Rather early. Did get uncorked offensively in the last couple of minutes of the first half. Robinson Earl up and over Bishop. I don't think there's been enough touches for Jeremy. Exactly. And it turned into an offensive foul, which helped Houston get into foul difficulty. I know that was before your time. <laughs> Robinson Earl not there. And a clear out by Kellogg. Addition, Tim, finding the three-point shooters. Robinson Earl. Pat Brenner just into the game. Some more shots. There are precious few, though, for the Creighton Blue Jays. Everyone can knock it down. Robinson Earl, not there. Out of bounds. Last cut by Jeff. Jacob is the... Uh, Rarely used post player that's been banged up. Well, when you're 6'11", when you stand up, it's hard to hide. Justin Moore. Little stop and go. Over to Robinson Earl. That's a shot he normally makes. Yeah, I mean, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, he was 10 for 11. Excuse me, Coach. Good night, missed eight games. UConn was 4-4 four four during that stretch. Robinson Earl. Got it. Well, he has really worked on that end of his game Saturday. Oh, no, no, no. High pick and roll with Robinson Earl. Baseline. Quick release. Strong. Tough, tough cover for Sunoco, though. A good look. Gillespie has the dribble. If you sneak a peek, ball watch, he finds. Robinson Earl. Knocks that jump shot down as the shot clock. Moore with a rebound. Inside, Robinson Earl. Great position. Missed the layup. Gets his own rebound. Started by Gaffney. Goes a pick and roll with Robinson Earl. He's got the mismatch they want. Robinson Earl inside. Next to pass from Samuel. Oh, what a great call off the bench, though. Empty such. It's wider. 
This side, Robinson Earl creates space, gets his own rebound, and stick back. He's doing some most Malone-like stuff out there today, Coach. <laughs> Gillespie runs a pick and roll with Robinson Earl. He's wide open for three. Loose ball. Rebound to Book Knight. Robinson Earl. Here's stay down. Look at coaches from UConn State. And they were a very good cutting team as well. It's like Charles Barkley, too. Remember Charles used to back people down? That's right. And Robinson Earl didn't have to back anybody down there. Little guys playing big, but they front and cover and help. It's a great, great commitment to one another on the defensive end. 16-footer Robinson Earl. That's a big shot there. I screwed up. I got locked in more veteran guys. I want to get Dixon and Swider and Slater more playing time today. Robinson Earl from Slater, misses the three, kept alive by Swider, and then... That's all good, but you end up falling victim to what the defense wants you to do. I would rather play against a one-dimensional Villanova than a balanced Villanova, that's for sure. Bounce feed, Gillespie to Robinson Earl. Left it way long. College basketball is brought to you by Hotels.com. Keep your travels flexible with free cancellation on most hotels. And Air Force Reserve, explore your opportunities with the Air Force Reserve. For Bob Hurley. His starting five, it'll be Martin, Burge, Christopher, Bagley, and Graham. Robinson Earl probing, gets inside, and it knocked away out of bounds, 14 of the shot clock. A nice job by Jalen State. He's jet quick to give them some scoring. Robinson Earl, jumper, got it. Well, you see a good player. And has really worked on his look over. Now, if he catches the ball, great play by Jeremiah Robinson Earl to jump that passing lane. Robinson Earl couldn't finish. And then a kick out. And Swider. Gillespie looks opposite. And there it is. There, there's the, essentially the back down. Gillespie playing out of the post, passing out of it. Robinson Earl inside, really strong move. He is such a good player, getting better and better. Is the miles run, and then how long they're over 90% capacity. And heck, I mean, no, Rolly Massimino never even thought about that. That wasn't that wasn't anything that was in the lexicon. Takes a, a possession off, rebounding. Good play by Dixon to tap that out. Wow, Robinson Earl, and a block by Graham. Christopher up ahead a half in five of those wins, including twice against Kansas. Soft touch. Largest lead of the game with nine offensive rebounds. Robinson Earl just beyond the free throw line, and he knocks it in. He's got 13. That's like a video game. But Villanova just plays older. Jeremiah right Robinson Earl. How good is Jer Justin Moore has done a nice job. Caleb Daniels has been on him. Likely started with Jermaine Samuels on him. Robinson Earl buries a triple. 19 for him. There you have it. Robinson Earl. A little strong. Burge the rebound. Still a 13-point game. Gonzaga. That's off. That's gold. Down, yeah. Well, 2K Empire Classic as a participant 2020. Wow, oh, boy. Our Jeremiah Kidway. Robinson Earl, look out. He's got 26. That's a career high. He's just been magnificent. Just gave ground, didn't foul. 
Forced him to try to make the shot over the top. Into the paint, feed inside. That's too easy. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, 28 as he continues to add to his career high. And Gillespie made that play. Make a, and we keep the rebound is Samuels. Villanova heavy pick and roll, spread you out, drive it. Robinson Earl short on the three. Offensive rebound though for Samuels. Well, Villanova just so good at sharing the ball, moving the ball, trying to exploit a good matchup and have it the up and under. Gillespie no, the follow no, and doing all kinds of work underneath is Robinson Earl. And Shaka Smart needs it. Gets a good look. And the offensive rebound of Samuels. Ooh. Oh, did he maybe, from our vantage point, like a he got away with one yep. hair. They'll get a bucket out of it, but it sure looked good. Tough pass right there. If I'm Jay Wright, I'm gonna get oh there's a I'm gonna get Colin Gillespie back around the five or six minute mark. I don't think they're get deer, rebounds and block shots, and he is in the infancy of his development as a player. How about his field goal numbers on the season? After that three, Kai Jones is now a preposterous set team for Villanova back in 2017-18. Samuels was as well. Robinson Earl baseline for the slam. What a move by Jeremiah Robinson Earl. That is to clean in the first half, as you would expect. Texas actually hitting one more three than Villanova. The Wildcats with just three made threes in the first half. Beautiful two-man game there between Gillespie and Robinson Earl to get the Villanova's offense is better than Texas's in the second half. I give them the advantage. Again, the two-man game between Gillespie and Robinson Earl. How pretty is that? I'd go inside to Robinson Earl. See if he can get that third foul on Sims. That's what they're doing. Baseline, creating a little space. Can't finish, and Jones comes down for the rebound. For the jumpers already in the second half. Bounce pass into the corner. Jumper a little bit short. Robinson Earl with a rebound and a putback. That happened because there was a switch on Jones with... Tough catch by Dixon. Robinson Earl, corner three. You want to see Villanova get, get the ball? Yeah. And that's really gotten the fans here for the Irwin Center on their feet. Gillespie, the kick, Robinson Earl. Down with a rebound is Ham. Texas can inch a little bit. This is a tough Texas team defensively. Robinson Earl trying to back down Brown, and he does. Boy, he's got a lot of different ways to beat you. Great patience. He took that crab dribble to... It'll be hard for him to score on coming in. Robinson Earl going to try to back him down. Use his size to his advantage, and he yeah, does. Yeah. That happened because Cunningham ran the ball. Now a steal. What a play by Gillespie. He sees him. Samuels. And Jeremiah Earl with a slam. With Robinson Earl, rather, with a slam. And it's a five-point lead. Charge call. That did not look like a charge. That was a block. Tied at five. Just getting started from the Mohegan Sun. And the jumper is good for Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Another suit for suiting. Mm -hmm. Jumper short there from Justin Moore. But the putback from Jeremiah Robinson Earl. There wasn't Jim Christian saying. Jay Heath and was able to stay with him step for step and block that shot and knock it off of him. Good job by Mitchell with the block. Well, you're watching two terrific defenders go at one another. Robinson Earl would not be denied. He got blocked twice. First points for Winston Tabs. Inside. And Robinson Earl couldn't get it to go. And now it's he got couldn't convert. That was beautifully executed. Just got to finish it. Oh boy. Easily to the rim. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Robinson Earl work in the middle of that zone. Robinson Earl flips it up and puts it in. He's got to be the guy. But he's got pulls down the board. Robinson Earl collects. Left hand shot blocked. And BC goes the other way. What a block by clean through. 
Ty Ashton Langford is having a terrific game. He must love seeing Villanova blue. Jeremiah Robinson Earl with the buck. Gillespie to Swider. Robinson Earl here. Jumper. Got it. Big bucket of 17. Early fouls in the game. Couldn't get much rhythm in the first half. But Winston Tabs has had some really good moments in this game. Wide open. And Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Not Really good footwork by Villanova against the man-to-man -man defense. You know, you get into the paint and playing off at of two feet, then kick it out. Then you hear with Marquette. Meanwhile, Colin Gillespie is the unflappable leader for the Wildcats, number two in the Navy. Down low to Jeremiah Robinson Earl. And Casey Jacobson was telling you he's got some pro potential. Villanova offense so efficient. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, a big reason why he's their leading scorer. By different areas of the floor to take advantage of that skill set. Elbow catches from behind the three, in the corners, and at the rim in the paint as well. Robinson Earl, another miss. He only has two points. Take a look inside first. The senior from Minneapolis split a pair at the line. That was actually the first free throw for Marquette. Robinson Earl was open, and Gillespie found him. Yeah. The Villanova led by six at the break. Its lead has ballooned to 16 and counting. Robinson Earl. And Robinson Earl with textbook technique in terms of wing. And we've seen that in professional sports when a franchise is able to keep their players for a period of time. That's when you build a dynasty. Uh, that continent, uh, Daniels. It's an outstanding pickup. We take a look at him trying to create an angle. He doesn't get it, but the Robinson Earl. Get out of his way. Well, look at the... Villanova slowly built upon its six-point halftime lead. Slowly but surely. Up by more than 20. Now it's 23. After the mask man, Jeremiah Robinson, the virus due to travel. So he is bringing... The families of the players to campus, they're all going to get tested before kind of entering the campus bubble. The players will have three days to spend with two baskets on their first two possessions. Swan swatted off the rim, and the second effort is a jumper from Jeremiah Robinson. Have to do. Can we execute it early is the question. I think he's answered a little bit. Of, he got his answers a little bit of, a little early in this game. So Robinson Earl, which is the second miss for Villanova. Butler's been. And Gillespie running point. And Robinson Earl rises from 18 and knocks it down. He played extremely. Things are going to be a lot different, so you have to try to adjust on the fly and be as prepared as you can be. Robinson Earl knocks one down from three to tie the game at 17 apiece. And Chuck Harris, who had seven points in his Butler debut last time out. Here's Robinson Earl again from three, back of the iron, and the rebound pops all the way back out to mid team. And that's the beauty of having the leadership from Thompson. Same can be said for Gillespie on this Villanova team. Nice pass to find Robinson Earl right in front of the cup. Beautiful high low, but a game when he left. Nova up six, and the flow was totally different as well. Beautiful footwork that time by Jeremiah inside. He'll be a great coach one. No doubt. Daniel short from three. Rebound juggled by Coles and then thrown down by Robinson Earl. Yeah, Samuels may have gotten away with it over the back. Eric Dixon is 6'8. Able to clear enough space to get a clean look at it and knock it in. Robinson Earl with the answer on the short corner. Right. What a benefit is the hat. The Independent Schools Athlete of the Year in high school in Rhode Island. As Robinson Earl connects from three. I tell you what, last year on two, or Gillespie would get switched on to Enzi, he was able to take advantage of it once again. Robinson Earl in and out from three. Golden rebound. Put a line his feet up, shoulders, let it go. Not you in the big time three. Now you're down only six points. See if you get a defensive stop. 
Uh, that's too, too easy for Daniels, yeah. But, and, that, and that pass came from nine and a half three-pointers a game. That leads the Big East right now. Robinson Earl. He was blocked by Igor Efe and the rim. Target. Let me see the palms. That, those are the, that's the target that I'm looking for if you want the ball. Robinson Earl answers back with Villanova's fourth main three. And you say, okay, can we get it down to 10 or under by halftime? That would take some work. Robinson Earl, second three of the first half. Arkansas was a veteran move from the left side down to the baseline. Robinson Earl likes that left side. Couldn't hit it from there, but the tap back had another opportunity. This could be an awful lot of fun down the stretch. Robinson Earl is wide open. Too strong and Bile down with the rebound. Another one and a half left to go. Moore and the offensive rebound. There's Robinson Earl. And they missed badly on a pair of threes. Robinson Earl has liked that spot for about 18. And like it more as he drills that one and puts his team back on top by a point taken. Yeah. I would say that's the one thing that Cole Swider has to continue to work on is moving those feet defensively. He can let him off the hook. And Swider called for the push in the back on Pickett at the beginning of the second half, Donnie. The, the second half was going to be about Georgetown knowing how to win the game. And Villanova got aggressive, and Georgetown was not as efficient offensively anymore. Archie Diacono did a nice job when he came into that Providence game, and you see Samuels with a couple of buckets to now open that team from Dixon in quite a while. Trying to give space to Robinson Earl. Nice job. Jump shooter, that's what Villanova wants to see. They can cut it to five or four here. Nice pass to Dixon. Uses the glass. We're down to five. 47 40. 14 points in his last game. Here comes Villanova off the turnover. And more to the break. He's getting to punch it down with the right hand. And what a nice look, too. Earl. Timeline. Justin Moore off to a very good start. He's got 10. And another jump shot goes down for Villanova. 29, 15, 5, 48 to play here in the first half. Back door, nice Samuels and a punch it. And now Greg McDermott's going to have to call time up. Half court game so far. Favoring Nova. Daniels. Got it. Around the horn. I mean, those are the things that you're so accustomed to. And an easy one for Justin Moore. Moore will finish with a spin. Dawson Garcia of Marquette. Five early points for the freshman out of Washington, D.C. And you see Butler switching all these screens. But, you know, Rice in. Robinson Earl. The offense has been run through him. Jumper for Samuels. And he's smooth, too. Coming off those out of the post pretty effectively. That's Gillespie up top. And he got another. Oh, he just sized up Samuel. There goes Samuels. Oh, man. With authority. It's about that how you defend this right there. I mean, a simple offensive rebound, another possession. Gillespie hits the three. Gillespie pushing it up court outside.
The Georgetown offense kind of just got stagnant. He got caught with a shot clock violation. There are going to be a couple of times I'll start on your part there. When we come down to this end and they're in a set offense, I'm going to just shut up and let you listen to put themselves in the position to get a few stops and kind of maybe tie this game back up. Robinson Earl, wave it off. He took steps. Now you look at Patrick Ewing's overall run. Iwusu, and he downplayed that angle. St. John's has had some breaks in its schedule this year in what's been a crazy year, as we all know. But look, Lap, this is their 24th game of the year. There are times I've considered it, but yeah, yeah. No, it's not, not going to happen. Loose ball, lost and deflected off of Robinson Earl. Providence will have it. This lead. Final tough shot. Well defended. And a foul committed by Reeves. He was a little upset that that tip didn't go through. Seldom will you say that about him. He had a great stroke. They also have that jump shot play where they fake it. Nova turns it over. Zagorowski the other way. speed to take his man down to the basket. Instead, they get a nice cut, and they're able to get a layup. Harris was feeling it late. Bolden picks it off, and that's how the first half ends. Both. Robinson Earl, and he tries. Change pivot feet. Shot clock at five. Harris's pass is intercepted by Robinson Earl, but he throws it right back to Tate. Alice oh, right out of bounds to Butler. With their balance, uh, if they're full strength, Justin Lewis back in the mix. Uh, there's a nice anticipation yeah. steal by DJ Carden. Just jams one home. Oh, that's not going to work. Well, right into the hands of Reynolds. And the big man can't quit thinking from the seat of his pants and now back the other way. Goes the other way too. Yep. Somebody driving right towards the hoop. They have to react. And now the quick hands on the outside for Mabu. Look to the middle. There you go. And Rosenberg, the kick to Swider, looking for that shot. Cut off. Nice defending by Providence and a hook on the baseline by Robinson Earl and the Friars. Ed Cooley told us yet. Each team winning by four on the road. Daniel. And he's caught the offensive foul. You're seeing some excellent anticipation. There's going to be a premium here for the Friars. Seven turnovers for Providence. And a turnover for Villanova. Robinson Earl. Shuffled his feet. All Villanova game the other day, Andrew. In the first four minutes, I noticed every guy on Villanova. That's a rare turnover, especially unforced. One thing that we see all the time with them is different guys will bring the foot. The they get it across, Swatter. That's Robinson a bad pass. Earl, bad pass, turnover by Villanova. That is their 10th. Their season high this year is 11. Shoulder, you can see it happening with him. More out to Robinson Earl. Probing for room against Pickett, but he dribbles it out of bounds. But it is true. I mean, especially going against Colin Gillespie, one of the premier point guards in the country. But yet and still, Harris, see a travel right there by Robinson Earl, is maintaining. Sure. Hey, Seton Hall won for the first time in 27 years there. We were on hand yeah. for it last year. There's a pilfer.
in the second half. And Ed Cooley has seen this nightmare before. You wonder psychologically where they are, too. There's a rejection by Robinson Earl. I'd pick and roll all day. Harris on the attack, blocked by Robinson Earl, and then a foul on the putback. Duke. To the hole. Blocked by Robinson Earl. Saved by Samuels. What a great sequence defensively. A lot quicker in their offensive sets to kind of get this game moving at a pace of their design. Reed. Almost taken out of his hands. Gets it back, and he's fouled. Isolated inside to get two to come out the half. Harris. Now see, we touched on this. He is really seeing his game elevate at just the right time. More tied up inside and a foul is called. Shit, Villanova is saying a lot. He and he doesn't even mention about his shooting and his passing. He yeah. just talks about him as a kid and his leadership. Watson gets the roll percent in the second half. And Ed Cooley has seen this nightmare before. You wonder psychologically where they are, too. There's a rejection by Robinson. In a Butler. Golden finds Golden. I'd pick and roll all day. Harris on the attack, blocked by... Like an air traffic control tower or a middle linebacker. Now he gets beaten off the bounce. Build their defense. Uh, good shots and take care of the ball. It doesn't allow teams to get out in transition for easy baskets. Nice find. Coming off the bench. Going over. It usually keeps a pretty tight rotation, but Slater some minutes here late. That's now 27 for Robinson Earl, and he's one point shy of a career high. And yeah, Steve Wojciechowski in film session tomorrow. Wide open in the corner. Good execution by Villanova in the half-court sets. Bryce Aiken, who's getting more time now after missing time early in the season for Seton Hall. It's going to be real interesting, Scott, to see what the shooting percentage look like for Villanova tonight. And off the miss... This is switching just about everything out front with the exchanges. They are coming into the game. She struggled with a sprain right finger with a splint earlier in the year. Aiken, way too strong. Ball up the court, moving a lot quicker in their offensive sets to kind of get this game moving at a pace of their design. Reed, almost taken out of his head. There is more quicker. And that's what they weren't doing. When they got out of traps, they were going right to the basket and scoring teams early. Not Al now. Alexander splits the D, gets it back. 
Into Javon Blair. Blair from 30. Off the heel. So he kind of just extended that dribble out, knowing he can get to the basket, no back line help. Dante Harris throws up a three. But, but you know, sometimes you not think about it. They play St. John's one more time. Yeah. And maybe the things happen. Maybe you see him again in Big East term. Okay, right. And it's two to nothing Wildcats. Anytime you can get this team to <laughs> open up the lane and you to, to make sure we knew it was 200 in conference. Yeah. In this yeah. conference. He has more than 200 in his career. In his career. <laughs> That's right. The Mahmoud College Billy. What else is new? Being fronted on the switch there by Justin Moore. They find another beautiful slip there. The back. I got yours. Lack of communication kills you against going over. Blue College Philly will draw yet another. Play hey, right veterans at the right positions. You know, you, you, just when you think you're doing something, they they, yeah. they hurt you with a long two. Mamu, and again, those are those bunnies in getting old and staying old is how Jay has been able to do it. Reynolds, 37. Champagny 0 for 8 in the first half, and he is fouled on the drive. So here's Mahoney. Crosses over, drives, cut off, forced up a bad shot, loose ball. In the country, Butler really struggles to score. Bryce Inzi coming off a double double. Here's Hodges with the shot clock at 5. Hodges already won three in the first half. Duke. To the hole. Blocked by Robinson Earl. Saved. The Blue Bloods. He made a
Um, it's a young man that uh, you had to expect would see more minutes with the loss of Gillespie. And he's starting and hurting somewhat. Is this uh, inbounds with 20 on the shot clock. It'll be triggered in by Carey. Champetti puts one up and off the mark once again. Nine years as the Villanova head coach, now in the Villanova Athletics Hall of Fame. My partner, Steve Lapis. 12%, so half the amount of time. They're the number three ranked half court team in the country. Step, step through, basket. And Steve, one difference with Samuels this year is Champagny with a quick shot. Last year, David Dew's going to tell everyone to come on high pick and rolls at the top, but that's just a lazy pass. Yeah, you can't do Seton Hall, five wins against Villanova since the Big East realignment. That's the most of anybody in this conference right now. So this Nova team offensively is struggling right now to kind of find their way. And Providence turns it over again. Remember the last time these teams in front by two. Blair left alone, mm. and he buries it. Ticket. Good defense, Robinson. A big one to tie it late last night. Here he goes again. And he got Robinson. Champagny 0 for 8 in the first half. And he is fouled on the drive. Moore tied up inside and a foul is called. Tip back and there is Dunn. Daiwusu is fouled on the drive. But, uh, Butler was 24 points again, but had, the only Butler was a worse half than the one they had against St. John's percent in the second half. And Ed Cooley has seen this nightmare before. You wonder psychologically where they are, too. There's a rejection by Robinson in that early offense when they get these clean looks. 
That ball really moves. Damian Jefferson to the hole with the gliding finger roll. Power. Alex tried to help out by his switch. Such an intelligent player. Juan Jones to the basket, hangs in the air, off balance. In the country, Butler really struggles to score. Bryce Inzi coming off a double-double. I'd pick and roll all day. Harris on the attack, blocked by... Like an air traffic control tower or a middle linebacker. Now he gets beaten off the bounce. And a shot clock reset here for Marquette. Driving McEwen. And he gets hit. That's now 27 for Robinson Earl, and he's one point shy of a career high. And yeah, Steve Wojciechowski in film session tomorrow. Wide open in the corner. Good execution by Villanova in the half court sets. Bryce Aiken, who's getting more time now after missing time early in the season for Seton Hall. He's switching just about everything out front with the exchanges. down the lane. He can use that right hand. He uses it. Duke. To the hole. Blocked by Robinson Earl. Same ball up the court. Moving a lot quicker in their offensive sets to kind of get this game moving at a pace of their design. Breed. Almost taken out of his hand. Third freshman. Well, I had him as one of the guys that couldn't make him, so maybe everybody can make him <laughs> First points in about five minutes for Villanova as Sam Penny still remains scoreless. He, watched, he says that he tapped me on the shoulder during the game about making a sub, and that was the difference in the game. That's what he's telling me. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Quicker. And that's what they weren't doing. When they got out of traps, they were going right to the basket, scoring teams early. Not Al now. Alexander splits the D, gets it back. Sam Penny still with just two points tonight, and he's called for an offensive foul. Contested that hard. A Daiwusu oh. drive. Oh, what a take from a Daiwusu. Champagne right at Robinson Earl, and he is fouled. Sit inside. Cole Swider defending now. Gary puts it in the deck, working against Robinson Earl. He walks. Four games postponed, yes. But over the three-week shutdown, they're not playing. They're not practicing at all. Right? There's no basketball activity. Blair can't hit it. But, but, but you know, sometimes you not think about it. They play St. John's one more time. Yeah. And maybe the things happen. Maybe you see them again in Big East term. Ticket. Good defense, Robinson Earl. Back here, right? And it's two to nothing Wildcats. Anytime you can get this team to <laughs> open up the lane and you can back out to Kale, trying to make use of a screen from Samuel. Oh, oh he got his man airborne. Use the ball thing. That's from Franklin, Massachusetts, the River School. Really a very humble player. Sandro stays with it. Back, I got yours. Lack of communication kills you against going over. Lou Collins really will draw yet another. Uh, getting old and staying old is how Jay has been able to do it. Reynolds. Young, bro. I mean, to be able to yeah. be back out like that, if I had a high angle sprain now, forget about it. Well, if you think about it, automatically you would think that's his draft class as a Mongo 92. We actually played Georgetown my sophomore year to see a trap goal. Yep. Yeah. Or Georgetown. Sometimes when you go pick and roll, you can be moving. They're all over Champagny. Yeah, they've made it really hard on him. Tough pass, and Cole didn't save it.
Champ See if they can get Champagne going. Good help. Turns it over. I almost killed him after the game. And if he's listening, oh, my man, James, I love you, James, but that was a horrendous shot, you recall. I don't think you... Jenkins made the greatest shot. Yep. He had the greatest assist. John McGriff is entered for St. John's. As the afternoon rolls along. Hunkler. Oh, what a strong move. And the message in that timeout for Ben Cooley had to be keep your foot on the gas. Duke with a two drop percent in the second half. And Ed Cooley has seen this nightmare before. You wonder psychologically where they are, too. There's a rejection by Robbins, a rebound to Bishop. Are you really talking about two great point guards in Ziggurat? He does that little change of pace and gets to the rim. Ziggurowski. Guarded by the bigger Samuels. Back door. Mitchell double Pretty cut. cut. Oh, no, God. Cockbreaker. Because we know something. Go a little bit of his own look. Cockbreaker with the layup. Let's get this kid early. Zagorowski with 10 points tonight. Bishop kept it up. Finish at the rim. This haven't been coming. The results came against Seton Hall on Wednesday, and he thought they, that would really help his Bulldogs team today. And so far, he's been right. As Golden I'd pick and roll all day. Harris on the attack, blocked by leading the league in three point makes per game. Runner right of the lane, drop seat for the Wildcats. And. It's now a 14-point margin. <laughs> Wild drive, and it's going to be a defense. Your corner shot and offensive rebound. You're like, well, what's wrong with the squad? Well, <laughs> if you play like this, you feel good about yourself there for the board. Uh -uh. Belay with no call. It's left short. Second try. Better result. And a whistle. System and maintaining the spacing. That time, great defense. Secondary break. He's a transition guy, able to get that three. Blair in traffic, first half for the first time around against Villanova lately. Well, listen, the assists are up, the defense is better. And the offensive production, as that trust that your teammate is going to make the right decision, is what makes Colin a very heady point guard. Well, Hobbs couldn't fit. One point game. Here's Pickett. DeMarco Pickett glides down the line, finds Kudis Wahab with an up fake, got free, and gave Georgetown the lead. The freshman for Georgetown. Wahab out to screen, rolls to the bucket, gets the pass between two defenders, it pops out in the dunk. Oh. Yep. So does Georgetown have an answer? They have many times today. Here's Dante Harris playing one of his best games. Can't get it this time. Takes it right back towards the rim. Whips it outside Harris. Goes baseline on Swider. Donald Carey on the drive. Oh. He reverses it in. Weak side to see if they can get a quick shot. If Georgetown doesn't adjust to that, those shots are going to be open for the Wildcats. He is really seeing his game elevate at just the right time. Yep. Adai Wusu starts the second half. Champagne for three, no. You let him catch it under the basket on out of bounds play. Bad things usually happen. Champagne for three. When you get into a gym that it's a beautiful building, beautiful yeah. facility. I, I don't want to take anything away from it, but it's for a practice. Right. It's, it's not for big time, big East games of the year. Great when he is back. He's back, guys. He's playing great right now. Feeling good. Bishop inside the kick. Mahoney. And he hits it.
practice for a shot. To trust that this team and we have, they can bond together and rectify their, have faith and belief in one another and get it going again. They rebound, keeps it in bounds. Now Jones. Well, good again to get in the front of that lane. O'Connell settles deep. Nedorowski had to work for everything today. Long rebound. 65-54, the lead growing now with 135 to go at Villanova. Mitchell. For three. And the rebound is grabbed by Bolden. At Butler win against Seton Hall on Wednesday, ended a three game pause, three freshmen at the time. Yeah. Coming over 21 day pause and having to play at Villanova. Can't be any worse than that. And that was a tougher game than the score. Here's Hodges with the shot clock at five. Hodges already won three in the first half. There's Samuels with the four, defending Inzi. In chemistry, 12 assists on 15 made field goals. 12-2 run, heading back to the first half. A three from Jamal Kane. It's Swider off the mark from three. Yeah, they take turns, right? They find the hot hand, and they'll continue to milk it. Coming off the bench, going over. It usually keeps a pretty tight rotation, but Slater some minutes here late. Robinson Earl missing that one. It's generally 100% effective. Oh, my. Now, is they've stopped shooting it. Guess who? Short again. Colin Gillespie struggling offensively. Reed, diagonal pass. He finds Nichols in transition for three. It goes. Samuels now. Bounce pass knocked away. Picked up by Duke. He'll take a three. Short. The year, fourth of his career with a double double. But he hasn't been taking good shots. Here he is inside. Throws it out and a move himself because they're in the penalty to the free throw line. Reed up top. Out of bounds. Champagne. Catch and shoot three. Air ball. He's now 0 for 3. They've got, they've got Villanova sped up a little bit. Villanova usually takes their time in the half court. Champagne for three. Oh. It's good. Time out. Break was on Isaiah Moore. That was his fourth. He remains out there for the Red Storm. He's got the ball over to Champagne. Open look at a three. And it's good for Julian Champagne. Yeah. Into Javon Blair. Blair from 30. Off the heel. So he kind of just extended that dribble out, knowing he can get to the basket, no back line help. Dante Harris throws up a three. COVID here. And just in the last seven months, college basketball has lost John Cheney, John Thompson, Eddie Sutton, Lou Olson, Billy Tubbs, that victory for the Illini. So Timmy, I love this out of a timeout. Nova goes out, comes out into a zone. Just a chip to go off the window. Justin Moore did suit up and come out to warm up. 
It'll be interesting to see if Jay needs him at any point in time. Robinson Earl pulls that one down. Perimeter oriented team. Harris must recognize that. You've got a young group of guards, Jim. You're prone to not recognizing those. And I'm waiting for John Condon to introduce Walt Frazier and Earl Monroe. <laughs> Rebound taken down by Robinson Earl. And that uh, you had to expect would see more minutes with the loss of Gillespie and starting and hurting somewhat Justin Moore. Yeah. Top four from Pitton Falls, New Jersey. Look out. Pick it with a slip. Back to carry for three. Wahab over the back. Wow. That is a great play that time by Pickett to get. And will not be able to go today. Duke. Much better coverage, though, on, on David Duke there. And Duke's got to recognize you got a bigger. Bynum. A little show and go. That one won't fall for Reeves. And the loose ball is picked out of there by Robinson Earl. And the message in that timeout for Ben Cooley had to be keep your foot on the gas. Duke with a teardrop off the heel, and Robinson Earl collects it. Flyers keep settling for threes. Could be a huge comeback. Just another steal off a deflection from Robinson Earl, where Ed knew that he really didn't have as much of a chance late, but that yeah. wasn't going to stop him from trying to get it. Yeah, Cole wanted to go to Nova, and he's 6'9", 220. Come on. Uh, and, and he could stroke it. Uh, you don't... Providence chances are of holding on to this lead. Final a tough shot. Well defended. And a foul committed by Reeves. He was a little upset that that tip didn't go. Be a meal. I'm guessing it's a quadruple snap. <laughs> Downtown, it won't fall for A.J. Reeves. Those shots that were falling for Providence early. You need a wake-up call, and I'm sure that was Jay Wright and the staff telling his guys at halftime, look, these guys aren't playing. Wow. Let's Ed, go and play with who we have. Ed Cooley wanted a foul there as Bynum took it inside. Did not get more. And collectively, they've given more here in the second half. And again, those jump shots from deep only aiding the Villanova comeback. A decade, he's a good man, salt of the earth man, and I believe him when he says that he is uh, totally sorry for those comments. Yeah, I guess he was heart sick and disappointed himself. They run some really nice stuff, some ball screens, some doubles. Zegarowski D off the heel, rebounded by Robinson Earl. He is a big time rebounder, that kid. Rebounds, a couple of blocks in 16 minutes. A very fundamental kid. He can do a lot of things. Spin to a hook. Good footwork. Can block shots. Big upside. Jefferson. And back down. Gillespie inside. Forced it up. Well defended by Gillespie. And Gillespie goes down. He may have gotten a foul by Tony. Had four points against Butler on Sunday, and that snapped the streak of five straight games and double figures for Jermaine Samuels. Remember, he had 32 against Georgetown this year. Mm -hmm. Big fella. He's not Bob Lanier, though. What did he wear, 21? So I thought it was 22, but you might be right. 40 to 23. the family in his shoes. They go, they go side to side, guys. You've got to really close out. Well, don't get back in your pay. Ooh, Bishop only finishes that deal. Justin Moore with 19 points. Biggest loss this year for Creighton, just eight points. O'Connell stepped through. No. Robinson Earl with a rebound. Well, Robinson Earl is such a factor. Guards help. They can get inside 10 right here. Baseline. O'Connell. Timely buckets. That's what Pump Green was looking at. Did a great That trail by as many as 22 points. Zagorowski, no, rims off the rebound. And it will go to Villanova. And a foul. Such an intelligent player. Antoine Jones to the basket, hangs in the air, off balance. 59-52. Zagorowski. Had to work for everything today. 
Long rebound, and Robinson Earl with it, and Villanova will be in no hurry. Absolute match again. Zagorowski turns the corner, comes up way short. Robinson Earl with another rebound. Oh, I thought he got banged on that, on that rebound. And he missed them both. Robinson Earl with his 13th board, and he can bring the ball up the floor. Look at it. That's had some breaks in its schedule this year in what's been a crazy year, as we all know. But look, Lap, this is their 24th game of the year. These are freshmen that are playing in the collegiate level. David News kind of telling everyone to come with high pick and rolls at the top, but it's just a lazy pass. Yeah, you can't do that against this team. Oh, and he missed the jam. They need a basket. Shot clock at five. Harris' pass is intercepted by Robinson Earl, but he throws it right back to Tate. Allen. And uh, that flexibility is what has allowed him decade after decade to have success. The turnover, and Robinson Earl gets grabbed, otherwise it would have been a uh, break. Customer two. No rush with the clock running down. This poise takes his time, lines it up. Here's a steal by Robinson Earl once again. Not off the mark, head out, and Providence will get another opportunity. David Duke with the ball. Inside they look, and it's taken away by the Wildcats. Robinson Earl's feel right now for this Nova team offensively is struggling right now to kind of find their way. And Providence turns it over again. Remember the last time these teams played, the score was 58-54. Weave up top. Duke. Gant, Robson, Watson taken away once again by Robinson Earl. Gillespie high stepping into the front.